Hey guys, welcome to Matt Does Stuff. Um, I've got some more stuff for you today. Uh, so today is the first of um, a sort of interior DIY uh, video. Um, and today I'm gonna be fitting a electrical back box um, it, up in one of my bedrooms. So when I renovated, um, forgot to do it, didn't do it, was too lazy to do it. Either one, it didn't get done. So um, I'm actually gonna be fitting a single version of this, um, but I'll show you how I recess that in the wall and um, fit a socket in the time it takes me to uh, cook some of these bad boys, chicken lollipops. So as always, before we start, let's get over to the kitchen and I'll, I'll show you how I made these. Hey guys, welcome to the kitchen. Uh, Today uh, I'm going to be making myself some chicken lollipops for my lunch. Uh, chicken lollipops are chicken drumsticks uh, wrapped in bacon made to look like a lollipop. Uh, so this is what one looks like. Um, it is a drumstick where I've chopped the end off and pushed the, um, pushed the sort of meat in the, the cartilage down and then later we'll cover those in some rub and wrap them in bacon. So let's uh, I'll just prepare all of those and then uh, we'll get into the, the rubbing. So what you do is with your sharp knife, I like to just cut the end off of the, um, of the drumstick. So just push through, move that to one side. So what that does is expose the bone and then you can um, just push the uh, you might have a bit of um, cartilage there that you need to just release, but essentially what you're doing is pushing that down so that the bone is a becomes the stick for the lollipop. So I'll just do that on all of these, and then we'll be back. So finished preparing the um, chicken lollipops and uh, wash my hands of all the chicken uh, juice um, and now I'm uh, going to put some rub on. So what I've got in the bowl is some brown sugar, pepper, salt, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, some paprika and um, a bit of cayenne uh, uh, pepper as well just to give it a bit of a, a, a kick. So I'm going to mix that up. And then I'm going to coat the chicken in them. Making sure all the sides are covered um, and the tops uh, and the bottom, sorry. So any of the stuff that falls off the side, just rub that in. So these guys are um, uh, rubbed. Uh, I'm now going to, um, I've now washed all this and my hands again. Uh, I'm now going to wrap it in bacon. Uh, but what I want to do is just stretch the bacon out a little bit to make it go a little bit further. So I'm just going to do this sort of on the chopping board because I've only bought six slices of bacon. So now that's all spread out. Uh, what I'm going to do is just put that at one end and then give it a roll. Uh, make sure that that's tucked in and that is a chicken lollipop. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get all these um, baconed up and I'll be back in a bit. So there we have it, chicken lollipops ready for the barbecue. So I'm going to get these on and then we'll get on with some stuff. So barbecue's up to temperature. Um, I'm going to go in with the chicken uh, and some apple wood. So that'd be great. Chicken's on. Got some apple wood chunks in the fire bowl. These will take about an hour and a half, two hours. So while they're doing, I'm going to go and get on with some stuff. So this is a socket that needs um, recessing into the wall. So you can see it's um, assembled at the moment, the back box is on. 
the front socket is also on and it is currently connected up to the electricity but obviously it's not ideal that needs to be sitting flush against the wall um not sure why it got missed originally but is what it is so i'm gonna correct that mistake today um and show you how i'm gonna uh, recess that socket into the wall um so yeah we'll get stuck into that shortly but first i'm gonna um just protect the area because i don't want um well, my skirting boards are already grubby, but I don't want any <laughs> any of the plaster dust all over my carpet. Uh, so I'm just going to go and uh, protect the area with some uh, dust sheets. So I've got my area all dust sheeted up uh, so I don't get any dust on the carpet. Um, I've also turned the power off um, at the fuse box. So I'll flick the switch uh, because I don't want to get an electric shock. It's not very nice. Um, and also it's very, very unsafe. So make sure before you uh, touch in with your, playing with your electrics that you um, turn, the, turn the power off. So first thing I'm gonna do is mark um, where I want the socket to go. Okay, so I've marked that. That's where the box is going to go. Um, and what I'm going to do now is dismantle the, the box so that I can um, get access to it to cut that part out. So I'm going to do that. So normally at this point, I would get my multi-tool out um, and just whiz around there. But unfortunately, that is uh, not working. So I'm going to have to improvise. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this out because um, this is only dot and dab wall. So I'm going to cut it out using um, a Stanley and this little fellow, which is a actually a um, plasterboard uh, knife, uh, saw, sorry. So yeah, I'll just do that instead. Okay, because this is a dot and dab wall, you can see that I've got some adhesive there. So I just need to get rid of the adhesive and then um, I'll be able to put the back box in. The hole is um, ready. So what I'm gonna do is uh, put the back box in. That fits nicely. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is just mark the hole uh, where I want to go, drill that through, use a raw plug and uh, screw it in. And then that'll be that'll be that.
So I'm using a red roll plug. Let's give that a tap in. Put the box over. So put the box over um, and then screw in. Um, screwed into the wall. Uh, I just need to bring the cables back up through and reassemble. Before I um, attach this all back together, I'm just going to fill in this gap uh, with some polyfiller. So I've got the polyfiller here. Just going to use a, a smoothing knife just to um, fill the gap. So uh, polyfiller is in the hole. Um, I'm just going to let it dry, uh, come back and give it a sand uh, just to make it flush. Then it'll be ready for painting, uh, and then I'll be able to put the um, socket back on the wall. And that'll be a job done. I'm uh, going to use a bit of 120 grit sandpaper just to uh, smooth that off. And then Socket is now recessed against the wall. You'll notice I've changed the front of the socket. I didn't like the other ones. So I've gone back to a standard white one, but that's another um, that's another bit of stuff completed. So another good day. Temperature in the chicken seventy two. Um, I've had the vents open a little bit because I wanted to crisp the bacon. Let's see what it looks like. So they look great. And what I'm going to do just for the last uh, 10 is put some barbecue sauce on and just, um, yeah, sauce them up. So I'm using Sweet Baby Ray's uh, just for info. Um, so these lollipops have just about set, so I'm going to take them off and give them a taste. So there we go, that's all the stuff completed. Uh, that was um, only a short one today, but uh, it does tick off some of the leftover DIY activities, or one of them, off of my list. Um, I'm going to um, chow down on my chicken lollipops. I remember. You stay safe and get some stuff done.